Just a few hours ago, North Korea fired two projectiles, possibly ballistic missiles, into the East Sea. This is the third time this month that the regime has launched some sort of projectile. And for more on this, we have our defense correspondent, Pei Unji, on the line. So, Unji, what information do we have so far? Well, Devin, South Korea's military says that the North today fired two unidentified projectiles toward the East Sea. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said the North fired two projectiles that appeared to be short-range ballistic missiles from Pyongyangbuk-do province. The military is closely monitoring the situation to be ready for any additional launches by the North. Japan's Defense Ministry and its Coast Guard also confirmed that the North fired what could be a ballistic missile. This comes just hours after North Korea warned of strong action over the sanctions the U.S. placed on it earlier this week. This is the third launch in less than two weeks and just three days after the regime last fired a missile. So, Angie, I understand that there's limited information about today's launch, but what can you tell us uh, in addition to that about the missile fired just three days ago? Well, the North had claimed that Tuesday's test launch was a successful test of its hypersonic missile that precisely hit a target 1,000 kilometers away under the watch of its leader, Kim Jong-un. Following the launch, Seoul's military said its initial assessment shows that the missile flew at least 700 kilometers at a speed of up to 10 times the speed of sound or more than 12,000 kilometers per hour. At this speed, the capital city of Seoul could be reached in just one minute and anywhere in the Korean Peninsula in less than two minutes. Hypersonic missiles are seen as a game changer because they're easier to maneuver and operate at high speed, meaning they're harder to track and intercept. North Korea also launched a missile last Wednesday, which it claimed was a hypersonic missile. Pyongyang is banned from developing or testing ballistic missiles and nuclear weapons under multiple UN Security Council resolutions. Well, that's all I have for now at this hour, but I'll be back with more updates in a later newscast. Back to you, Devin. All right, Panji, our defense correspondent reporting there. Thank you for that.